Let's talk about reconstituting dry powders, especially those at different volumes than what's listed on the manufacturer label. So drugs that are unstable in solutions, such as antibiotics, steroids, and biologics, are prepared as dry-filled solids or lyophilized powders. And before they can be used in the human body, they have to be reconstituted as a solution with a suitable diluent or a liquid in a correct volume to provide a specific concentration. And that concentration is usually listed in the package insert. Sometimes, however, providers may prescribe a final concentration different than what's listed by the manufacturer in their package label. But the good news is that most injectable drugs are available as dry powders are not very bulky and their contribution to the final volume by the solid material is negligible. So this makes calculating the volume of solvents really simple. So let's look at a practice problem. At first glance, it looks like there's a lot of information in this problem. Let's read through it. A patient is to receive 400,000 units of penicillin G potassium in 100 mLs of D5W. Available is a vial of penicillin G potassium, 1 million units, and the manufacturer states that when 4.6 mLs of a suitable diluent is added, a 200,000 units per mL solution will result. This is what that looks like right here. So the question is, how many milliliters of reconstituted solution must be withdrawn and added to the bag of D5W? So we know that we have 200,000 units per ml, and we know that we need 400,000 units of penicillin G potassium. So the way that we solve this is actually pretty simple. What we're going to do is just set up a quick ratio. So 200,000 units per 1 ml is equal to 400,000 units over x ml. Because remember, this is what we're looking to solve. We're simply going to cross multiply and we will get 200,000 x is equal to 400,000 and at the end we solve and we see that x equals 2 mls. What this basically means is that the pharmacist should add 2 milliliters of diluent to a vial containing 400,000 units of penicillin G potassium powder to obtain a 200,000 per ml solution. Pretty simple.